Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to book a class at River City Pilates using MindBody. First, you're going to want to go to the River City Pilates website. Then you're going to look in the right hand corner. There are three options in the bottom right. Get started, shop now, and MindBody login. You'll want to click the MindBody login button. A new window will pop up and you'll be able to see the classes that are available, but first you're going to want to log in. If you've never logged in before, you're going to want to create an account, which you can click this button. Once you click this button, you also have the opportunity to sign in if you already have an account. Otherwise, you can click the sign in button. Once you click the sign in button, you're going to be directed to my info tab. I'm not showing mine because it has all of my personal information, so that's why I have this extra browser open. You're gonna wanna click on the tab that says classes. Once you're here, you can look at all of the available classes to you. So as you can see, these classes are no longer available because the time has passed. So anything that says sign up now is available for you to sign up. Let's go ahead and sign up for November 24th, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, Better Balance Virtual Class with Carrie Sadler. Click the Sign Up Now button. And looks like I have to sign in here. Okay, um, that might happen if you don't sign in at first. I thought I was already logged in here but it goes to the page that you would want it to go to, the make a reservation page. You have two options here. If you just wanna try a class for the first time, then you can make a reservation for yourself by clicking make a single reservation. If you want to also bring a friend with you, you can sign up for yourself, come back in, and also select someone else and pay for their spot as well. It's a really nice option. The other option, if you wanted to do maybe two weeks, four weeks, or maybe you're going to commit to a full 10 weeks, you can go ahead and click an end date here, pick your end date, and then make a recurring reservation. What that does is it just signs you up completely. I will show you in a few minutes how to go into your information and schedule to cancel something if you need to. So let's say I'm going to make a single reservation with Carrie Sadler, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time on 11-24-2021, Better Balance Virtual Class. I'm going to click the Make a Single Reservation button. Once here, I'm booked. This automatically takes you to the My Info, My Schedule page. Plus, I just got a nifty little text message telling me that I'm booked. Amazing, I love the text. You can also sign up for email notifications as well. So once you're in here, um, this is where we're gonna go next. Let's say that you have done a recurring schedule for 10 weeks, but there's one week that you cannot make it. You would just need to make sure that you canceled ahead of time, 24 hours in advance. If you don't, then it will show up in your account as a late cancel. This is why I picked a session for tomorrow because I'm already inside of that 24 hour window, which means that if I don't take the class, I will have to pay for it. So if you click here, you can go ahead and cancel. This allows somebody else to um, take your spot if you're in studio, but if you're virtual, just remember that right now, after class, we're sending out the videos for each class. So even if you can't make it at 9 a.m. for this particular one, then you can go ahead and get the recording afterwards. It's automatically sent after class. But if I wanted to late cancel this or cancel one of my other sessions in here, like here's an example of myself taking a class with myself for a different demo I did. If I wanted to go ahead and cancel this, I would just click cancel and click OK. That will pop up and I will have to see what happened. Let's try this one. Okay, that one went away. And then I got a text saying that my Pilates is a late cancel. So for this one, because I'm in request only, that happened. Um, don't worry about that. 
just if you have any questions or if you ever have an error, this is a really good example where if it doesn't work for some reason, you can log out, log back in, but ultimately you can either email or call the studio and we will be able to help you fix whatever you need to fix. So you can always email and ask questions or call and ask questions at any time. Okay, so there you have it. You have the ability to search classes, sign up for classes, go to your info tab, my schedule, and then you're able to uh, cancel or see what you have scheduled. And there you have it. Good luck.